dead. We're so lost. No. Let me check my GPS. Oh, shivers. We have no signal. Can't use this. What is this? Oh, we've been studying this a mess. I know how to read one of these. So, the river is in B3, so I think if we just follow the river, we'll get home. Okay. To use grid lines, you first go across the x-axis and up the y-axis. An easy way to remember this is you learn to crawl before you walk. Don't you remember teaching little Sammy how to play battleships when he was little? Yeah, I do. You're going down, Dad. Are you my equal? I think not. Because I'm the denominator. <laughs> B2. Hey. Yes. This would be a great place to take a picture of my boys. When taking a picture or video, grid lines help frame the object or person. This is called rule of thirds. It is more pleasing to the eye when the subject is placed on the top third. People use grid lines in their everyday lives. Pilots use it when they're mapping in direction. Geologists use it in mapping of places. Everyone uses it by reading their calendars. Farmers use it in growth charts and milk production charts. Shop managers use it in items sold and what they should get more of. Stock market workers with prices raising and falling. Some examples of everyday users of red lines are when we go to the movies and have to find our seats. Scavenger hunts are also another way to use grid lines. We use grid lines when finding our seats on an aeroplane. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about grid lines. <laughs>